by driving away middle class voters. The middle class. The middle class. The middle class is having a tough time. Do you consider yourself middle class? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yes, I would, yeah. Yes. I would say so, yes. Are you middle class? Chances are you said yes. Most Canadians would say the same. But the lifestyle often associated with that term, job security, owning a home, a retirement plan, seems increasingly out of reach for many younger Canadians. We know that inflation is putting pressure on what people can afford, and incomes aren't stretching as far. So I wanted to know what that means for people trying to keep up with a so-called middle-class lifestyle. The comfortable middle class. Strengthen the middle class. Growth for the middle class. The middle class. Clearly middle class. Again, for the middle class. But first, there's an important question we have to ask ourselves. What even is the middle class? And I'll show you someone who needs to actually get out and start understanding what the middle class really is in this country. This is a game of life. It's a perfect middle class scenario of the time. First published in the 1960s, you travel the path of life making decisions, building a family, earning money buying homes. All as simple as moving pieces around a board and drawing cards. The game of life. The game of life. Have you ever played the game of life? Yes, I played that game. <laughs> Is that game ho hopelessly out of date right now? I, I don't remember the details of it. But, but yes, as you describe it, it, it is uh, very out of date. That's life. We do know that a majority of Canadians, really since uh, the post-war period, uh, 1960s, 70s, uh, call themselves middle class, especially in North America, where working class wasn't quite acceptable after the 1930s or 40s, sort of a, a class conflict term, right? Uh, middle class is sort of neutral and and uh, and more people were joining the vast middle class i want to ask you you know how would you define the middle class if there is a definition well, okay good i i don't use the term middle class so when i when i do talk about these issues uh i i, I always talk about the middle income group the middle income is the number of people who fall within a certain range of the median income, say 20% either side. But while middle income is measurable, something that can be quantified in statistics and data, middle class, not so much. What do you consider middle class? Somebody who grows up kind of with everything that they need, but not everything that they want. Probably just being able to afford the lifestyle that you, uh, that you enjoy, you know? When I think of middle class, I think of like people that work every day. The normal average family. Well, it means some privilege. A confused class between the rich and the poor. They're having good average salaries, but still can't afford basic things in their life. As housing prices go up, grocery costs go up, it's definitely up for debate what would now be considered middle class. The middle class is more of a sociological messy term a legitimate term and, and, and something for sociologists to use if they define it carefully, because there is a middle class lifestyle we could talk about. It's definitely a term that's really murky. It's talked about a lot, um, particularly like post-World War II, when there was a lot of opportunities and a lot of support in terms of government programs. And we saw that kind of birth of some of those things we think about as a middle class identity and home ownership being widely spread. We see a lot of talk about it around there. And it's it's a term that's always kind of around, but never really well defined, which I think is really interesting. Murato is part of a team working on the Great Canadian Class Study. They surveyed thousands of Canadians, the vast majority of which said they were in the middle class. The researchers are now doing more in-depth interviews with some respondents. A lot of the interviews will be someone saying, well, I think I'm middle class, but I don't really feel like I'm middle class right now. I think they have incomes that would classify them as being middle class in Canada. But then they also feel like they can't necessarily afford the things that they want, particularly in terms of housing and housing challenges. The ideal middle class lifestyle, that feeling of middle class, is increasingly met with barriers for millennials. I always think of like Homer Simpson in 
The Simpsons. I work hard for the money. You know, the idea that you can have a job that provides for your housing, you can afford to raise a couple kids, you have a car, maybe two cars. Uh, not a lot of extras, but enough to cover those basic needs. And he can afford three kids, which is increasingly wild to me as an idea. One thing that Homer has that many people now struggle to do, own a home. Michelle C. says has written about the changing tides of home ownership in Canada, something more and more difficult to imagine for millennials like her. As housing has gotten more expensive and incomes have stagnated, there's no longer this kind of correlation between your job and how you can afford to live. And home ownership isn't the only thing that's changing. And it's also that broader idea of we don't necessarily have lifelong jobs anymore. You don't graduate and go work for a company and stay there till you retire. There's a lot less um, predictability about it. Murato says younger generations are making different decisions because of that lack of stability, maybe taking a different career path or considering lifestyle choices. We've had people talk to people who say, well, I really wanted to study this, but I was worried about getting a stable job. So I made this choice instead and just a lot of worry about what's happening next. But it doesn't seem like people are willing to let go of the label. A poll last year found 78% of respondents considered themselves middle class, a relatively consistent result over the last few years of the annual survey. Does that mean what it means to be middle class is changing? That's hard to say. There isn't a lot of consistent data to compare to. Right now we're just getting a slice of things in 2023. And that's still, people are still starting to struggle economically in many ways, but still identifying as middle class. So middle income is something that could be calculated by looking at the median income. That doesn't always tie in nicely with middle class, which is a bit more murky and based off certain lifestyle expectations that may be slipping away. But that doesn't mean we've heard the last of the middle class. It's a catch-all for many Canadians, a favorite of politicians trying to appeal as far and wide as possible. Strengthen the middle class. Economic growth for the middle class. Reduce the tax burden on middle class families. We want to help the middle class. To make life more affordable for the middle class. The politicians who use the term middle class rarely define it. Right? We don't know what they're talking about. How can the finance minister help the middle class when he openly admits he doesn't know what it is. We know the middle class is all those people who were left behind by the previous government. But for all the political usefulness of the middle class, it's also important to remember who's being excluded. That even the expectations of yesteryear were always the purview of the privileged, locking out many indigenous and racialized people. Life doesn't follow that nice uh, trend line, if you will, for all people. And we have to remember for a lot of Canadians, it, it never existed. I think it can be divisive in some cases here, and it's definitely leaving people out. I would argue though, we need to talk more broadly. We need to talk about people in poverty class and working class as well, and think about policies that matter in those cases. Middle class, no matter the definition, most people are feeling the pressure of everyday life. And many who feel like they're in that middle are taking notice, and advocating for change. For people in the middle class, it's, they're starting to get lower and lower. Because honestly, in this day, it's starting to become no in-between. One thing's for sure, it isn't like it used to be. I think it is shrinking. I think a lot of people are stretched financially, and I think that is disappearing, absolutely. I feel like it's a lot harder now, and especially for people trying to aspire to be, like not to be middle class, but to stay within that. I think it's, becoming increasingly uh, more difficult for, for younger people uh, to, to, to buy into the uh, to American dream of, let's say, white picket fence and having a home and whatever, you know. It's, it's tough for the younger generation and I, I feel sorry for them, you know. But this murky, elastic term isn't going anywhere. And it can be useful for us to think about the financial fabric of our society and how to address it during a time of economic uncertainty. Okay, so you're saying maybe I'll have a tough time getting a job like my dad's. No, no, I'm saying you'll definitely never get a job like your dad's, and you'll have a tough time finding something significantly worse. Make sure to check out the description below for our sources and more useful links about this topic.